The 2021 school year will start off with much higher active COVID-19 numbers in Alberta compared to this time last year. Many school boards opting to keep masks and other precautions. You know, we might have hoped that it could be more wide open right now, but the Delta variant has upset the apple cart on that. But what do we know about the Delta variant and kids? That's one of the reasons Dr. Hinshaw announced the province was delaying the end of test, trace and isolate until after the school year start. The U.S., unfortunately, hospitalizations in children have started to rise, most significantly in states with lower overall immunization rates. Alberta Health Services confirming to City News out of the 244 hospitalizations Tuesday morning, only one was a pediatric patient. In the young age population is that hospitalization and getting seriously ill is exceptionally rare. That as children gather back in school that we're, I, I think it's inevitable that we're going to see a rise in cases related to schools. Dr. Jim Kellner reminds that COVID symptoms in kids haven't changed with the Delta variant becoming the dominant strain. Fever, cough, headache, runny nose. But the research around Delta potentially having more severe outcomes is ongoing. We, we know from information from Ontario that uh, it seems that children with the Delta variant are about twice as likely to be admitted to hospital. So it, it may be that um, it's a thing that it could be causing more significant disease in some children. For a parent, when they hear double the chance of hospitalization, that can sound really scary. But can you talk to me a little bit about how likely kids are to end up in hospital? Sure. So kids are really unlikely to end up in hospital if they get COVID. So in the Alberta context, um, about one in 200 children who gets COVID-19 may end up being admitted to hospital. And so that's a, that's a, you know, very small percentage. Saying there is an exception. (laughs) Babies less than a year old have a higher risk of hospitalization from COVID. Reminding as we head indoors for fall to keep hand washing, masking when in crowds and to stay home when sick. And if you can get vaccinated, you know, the more people that are vaccinated, the less virus that they'll be circulating in the community and the less likely that that virus can be transmitted to others who aren't vaccinated and the less likely that new variants can form. But says with any kid who's sick to touch base with your family doctor if it seems out of the ordinary. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.